start uh, no I, let me introduce you first okay, 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 okay. So, okay. so it's my pleasure to introduce professor redwan ahir from the university uh, hassan second casablanca morocco and the title of his talk is some new results on q dunkel harmonic analysis so professor has now you can start and i suggest you to make it full full uh, full screen by pushing uh, by uh, control Please plus control. or you can do from um, screen full screen now yeah yeah it's fine it's absolutely fine yeah Thank you for introduction. Uh, first of all, I would like to match uh, the four organizers, Zansky and David and and all others. Isn't it such something such the difficult time? Thank you so much for 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 all them. And uh, it's a great pleasure to give this talk and the of my talk is uh, some new results on Q dental harmonic analysis. This is joint with my uh, PhD student, and, uh, and uh, first of all, I would like also to dedicate this talk to the memory of my daughter, Jumana Daher, at 15 years of beautiful soul in by some uh, Indian fans called Vaidhi because she loves to uh, to watch some Indian movie so she passed away in May 26, 2003 years ago. So this was this uh, talk to my daughter. And uh, this is uh, some uh, an apologue. This is joint work, as I said before, with my PhD student at Mantair of uh, our university in our team. In this talk, short talk, I will describe some results in his PhD dissertation. I have chosen a few analog of teach math theorems. And the uh, second uh, result is a Q version of some loss between the functional and the modulus of smoothness. And the last result is uh, to get some uh, Q catalog of affirmation to be in the end of the And uh, some outline and summary of my talk. And uh, there is four sections. Two set of these uh, four sections uh, are only basic used in the Q theory. So, uh, let me uh, some uh, what what we call the uh, Lipschitz condition. Uh, Lipschitz condition is defined is uh, is is as following. Uh, Lipschitz uh, space is uh, R at some equality, and uh, the role played by zero uh, translation is very important here. And uh, in 1937, Mars characterized in his uh, in his book uh, the set of function of LPR satisfying the same name you have. Yes, that, can I uh, interrupt yes. you? Your yes. wife is somehow uh, interrupting in between. So maybe uh, if you are using microphone, then please adjust it correctly. Otherwise, it's uh, interrupting in between. We are not hearing you continuously. It's interrupting. So, your voice is not clear. Like, hmm. you hear me now? Yes, yes, it's fine now. Yeah, so uh, as I said, that in uh, 1937, Schmarz said, if you are satisfied, that's fine, the estimate namely we have this forum that you can find in uh, uh, Schmar's book. Uh, so if you have, uh, let's have alpha uh, between zero and one, I assume that belongs to LPR. If uh, function f belongs to uh, this uh, Lipschitz space, 
then its Fourier transform will belong to LBR that defines this estimate. This is the first theorem of the benchmark. And uh, when uh, we have uh, the case equal to benchmark is also the set of function to R satisfy the Lipschitz condition by means of some estimates but of norm of the Fourier transform. So we have the in this case in equal to cases we have some equivalence of this condition. So so this problem is in, in the teacher's book. And uh, uh, 1974, uh, this is a PhD, RM, E and B on uh, compact groups. And uh, in 1987, this is uh, this condition by another condition that we call the Unis Ellipsis condition. So we put some logarithm here, some terms here, and uh, he uh, analog of this, this program. And uh, theorem, the theorems A and B have recently been extended to a uh, non compact symmetric plane of uh, space of rank one. That's only theorem B. This was extended by Professor Bell. And uh, uh, 2016, we, uh, we, we extend theorem E uh, for Tunis uh, Dini Lipschitz with my students. In his also with the, with also with the Salah al Wadih, we extend all the Ishmar theorems on non compact, uh, no, excuse me, uh, on the Ishis piece. So we extend all some other like the Selip group, the group, and the group. And also with uh, Professor Michael Luzanski and Julio Delgado, who in 2019, we extend this on uh, theorems on compact homogeneous manifolds. And uh, also with Salah al my student, we extend the theorem for the and also the R result. Professor, excuse me for interrupting once more. I think it's a problem with the connection that we can't hear you so well. So I don't know, I would suggest maybe can you try to switch off your video only and then maybe um, maybe we can hear you better. Uh, if it's really a problem of the connection, say of the bandwidth. Maybe there is some problem with my connection, I don't know. So if you could leave the microphone on, but uh, maybe just switch off the video, maybe then uh, we'll hear you better. So just the video, then maybe... No, no, the presentation is all fine. Just the, the camera, just the camera, just the camera. So maybe the quality improves if you, no, no, uh, if you just switch off the camera. I mean, it says stop video in the lower left corner. Just to stop setting, I believe. Okay, his video is stopped. Let me know what you talk to you. About now? Let, let's try it, but. Uh, let's try it now. Maybe. But thank you. So, uh, uh, now we, we, we passed. Uh, classical uh, approximation theory this to Weistras in uh, some result of uh, theorem of Jackson that we call the equality Jackson direct and also it's related to some uh, Bernstein's theorem. 
and uh, uh, we expand in uh, 2019 result to uh, no contact symmetric surface of rank one. So to nuclear uh, sitting in nuclear sitting, to be cell sitting, the cell Jacobi, and also for Jacobi the other results. And uh, the last classical result is about key, uh, key, uh, key functional function. And, and uh, we, we uh, find some classical smoothness here. Uh, so there is a classical function uh, here. And the uh, modulus an element of direct and indirect theorems of approximation. And uh, some equations uh, between uh, functional uh, the modulus of smoothness by uh, Bitzer and Berins in 1967. Some equivalence. So, and uh, all uh, classical functional of Peter, uh, there is some infinium of this, uh, with this. Uh, and uh, our objective, or objective of our talk is to send all these results, the uh, Tishmas theorem, Jackson direct and indirect theorems, and the equivalence between a functional and modulus of smoothness to Q harmonic analysis associated and all in 2007. So here I will to a little bit fast because it's all basic tools that we use find find some reference plus my I talk we find some reference about this. So you choose Q zero and one and through this some space and some uh, shift uh, factorial in Q analog and and also some uh, factor like that and uh, there is some Q gamma function and there is um, some uh, definition of Jackson integral to calculus and there is some also some Q derivative uh, are also as Jackson what we call also Jackson derivative so uh, here is the derivative of Jackson uh, and uh, well, so there is some uh, ribbon, ribbons Q differential operator. What we call the ribbons uh, differential operator is like, definite like, like that. So here is some expression of this uh, differential operator. And uh, we will take this uh, ribbons Q differential operator and we, can, we are going to replace this uh, classical derivative in order to define the uh, analog of uh, Dunkel operator. So remark that if, if, if uh, function f is differentiable at x, then we have this classical, the classical derivative. And uh, we have the, some part head and even. And uh, we not also some uh, LP space some uh, analog of LP space. And there is a called Q Dunkel operator. Uh, Professor uh, Rosler, some uh, uh, eyes on general setting of Dunkel theory. So you can find just here for, for you can define this of first derivative, we will define this uh, Q ribbon uh, operator. And uh, we, where we, uh, we take this function, uh, add and even, and there is some Q analog of this type. That's what we call Q Dunkel operator. And not that if alpha is equal to minus over two, have just the, the first derivative over K. And uh, there's also some uh, uh, Q analog of uh, uh, Dunkel, Dunkel uh, kernel. So we have some uh, like that. So it has uh, in the Dunkel classical one. 
have some analog of the classical model. And there is some uh, cubic cell function. Uh, and uh, there is some result about harmonic analysis, Q harmonic analysis uh, proved by beta EB, some Tunisian from Tunisia. And uh, there is also, you can find here, uh, some uh, property of this. And we find also some boundaries of this uh, kernel. And uh, also we have some q dunkel transform, some q, q, q dunkel transform analog of the Dunkel uh, classic one. And uh, some, so some property, you find q, what we call q analog of Fourier transform. And uh, there is some uh, boundaries property. Uh, and also some Riemann lemma and uh, some Q uh, analog of uh, Poincharel formula for this, uh, Q Dunkel transfer. And there's also some uh, Q analog of Anversen formula for this. So we need in our results what analog of uh, Q analog of uh, Hosdorf Young inequality. So we need some, uh, some constant analog of uh, Baminko. And uh, the generalized, uh, I have also some uh, analog of translation operator. We need for f long to l squared, and we have this, this definition of uh, a Q analog of translation. And we have uh, also recall also some property of this uh, dunk, uh, dunk. And the crucial lemma is this lemma. This is a very, very important lemma that we used. In, oh, we have some estimate, uh, analog of some estimate used by Platonov. Find so this, the same lemma in the Q analog setting. And uh, find also some Q analog of Lipschitz uh, space. So, we replace only we only replace uh, uh, usual translation by this uh, Q-Dunkel translation. So we have Q uh, Q-Dunkel which is space. And uh, there is uh, our first result is uh, and the same uh, the analog Q version of uh, theorem E. Have or look at this. We have the same. Uh, and use, use the is similar to to cl classic one, and uh, this is our first result. Second result, so what happened for it? We have also this the analog the Q version of theorem B of Tishma. So the, the this term, the Tishma analog, Q analog of Tishma's theorem, and uh, now we pass. To uh, define some general modulus of smoothness. And the, here also we see that it just replace uh, uh, usual translation by uh, Q translation. Uh, and we can define this uh, modulus, general modulus of smoothness. So we have some uh, of spaces, a lot of spaces for this case. And uh, uh, I need his for uh, for approximation theory. It's we call the, uh, the, the function bound spectrum. So we define an analog analog of this bound spectrum of order sigma. So it's the, it's the same same things that we it's defined by and uh, some you have also some defin analog. Uh, the Q analog of definition of uh, this best approximation. Uh, as we are replaced, just this, this definition. So, in this definition, we obtain some Q version of Jackson direct theorem. And uh, this is the direct, direct uh, Jackson theorem. So, we prove. Uh, Q analog of Jackson theorem. Here is the result. 
and uh, also have uh, uh, analog also this uh, uh, Jackson theorem, uh, not another formula of uh, version, another version of uh, uh, Jackson theorem. And uh, also in the approximation theory, we have Bernstein theorem. So here we, do, we, we prove uh, Q analog of Bernstein's theorem. And uh, a Q version of uh, Q version or Jackson inverse theorem. Uh, so here we, this uh, inverse theorem of Jackson. Uh, we prove uh, the analog of this theorem. Here is the Q analog. And uh, so we have this, uh, this estimate analog in approximation theory. We find this estimate and we prove the Q analog of this estimate recently. And uh, now we pass to last result. Last result is what we call the Peter uh, functional. Uh, functional. Uh, the, the, let me give this definition. A functional is constructed by this L2, this space and the uh, other space defined by it. This is the same, it's the same the, the classical uh, functional. Uh, here we are it's just uh, the operator by the operator, uh, the derivative by the operator. We have the so, uh, so we so we with this definition have uh, have proved proved that, uh, this uh, result. So we proved that balance uh, between uh, uh, functional and uh, smoothness analog. And uh, is some uh, reference. So oh, as you see here, some of our friends of uh, team here in Morocco, and uh, also some results that we are going to try to see. And uh, I'm so sorry if you didn't uh, hear me. But, uh, I just, uh, and thank you so, so much. For thank you. Thank you, Professor Dad, for for this interesting talk, model of some one of the wise and what is fine. So, so any other, any question? Now we are all questions. Anyone has any question? Or? If I may, I... Yeah, 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 do one, go ahead. Uh, Professor Daher, thank you, thank you for your your talk. Very interesting talk. I know your your paper, for example, uh, about dish theorem on compact homogeneous manifolds, and I remember that uh, in that uh, in that paper uh, you have a very sharp uh, index index for for this classification. Yes, on um, um, this this sharp indices for for uh, uh -huh, the holder the holder classification of the Fourier integrability uh, of the Fourier transform on L yes it was if uh, you have a similar similar sharpness in this context or culture of this uh, sharpness. Excuse me, I I I have I didn't hear you well. Excuse me. Okay, uh, can I repeat the question for you? Yes, please. Now, now you can hear me. I can repeat the 